It's been three years since I decided to go vegan, and so I decided to do a big fruit feast in celebration of my three years being vegan. And so I've got my girls here with me. There's Daisy and Olive, and they're gonna join in on the fruit feast too. And during these three years, of course, I'm not perfect, and I've not been a perfect vegan this whole time. And there may have been times where I've gone to people's houses where they may have baked something that contained dairy. There's been some times where I've eaten seafood and looking back now, you know, it's not really worth it, but that's just kind of part of the journey. You have to just be kind to yourself and just kind of stick with it. And if you find a good community of like-minded people, that also makes it so much easier. Back in the day, I kind of felt guilty when people would offer me their food and I'd say no. But I feel like now, after everything that I know and being so deep in this, I feel like I can say with confidence to people like, no, sorry, I actually don't eat dairy or actually I don't eat animal products, but I'm sure that that tastes great, it looks good. You know, and I feel like as well, when you say it kindly, instead of being like, ooh, no, I don't eat animal products. If you're kind to people and you give off a good vibe, you know, all of the people that you know or you interact with or you talk to that aren't vegans, you'll plant that seed and you'll be in the back of their mind. So if they ever see anything regarding veganism or vegetarianism, or you know they, they have any questions, they can come to you and they won't be afraid to ask you questions because they'll feel like they won't be judged. So that's kind of the approach that I have. And that's actually happened to me a couple times already. And it's a few people that I know have turned vegetarian or vegan and they come and ask me questions about it and you know, I welcome them with open arms. So that's just kind of my take on it. And here we go. Let's celebrate, you guys. Dig in. You girls want some yummies? You want some yummies? Yeah. Should we start? Okay. Should we start with some mango? This is a keat mango. Ultra delicious. gonna be a messy feast. has like a really smooth and I don't know, really subtle flavor. It's almost kind of like a, it's almost kind of like a pineapple. Like it gives you such like a clean energy afterwards, and you don't feel disgusting and. Mm. It's just the best. Okay, should we? Let's try some watermelon. <laughs> it's so juicy. Mmm. Mmm. Amazing. Watermelon only for a meal is so good. Okay, 
calm. Calm yourself. No. these days are doing all those mukbang videos and they're doing like challenges like how many spicy instant noodle packs can you eat and it's like oh you guys it's so bad for you <laughs> like just do some of these instead hey mm. I'm starting to feel full Wide melon. I'm telling you. Mm. Just don't even cut it up. Just eat it like this, and it's delicious. Eat it like a meal. Let's move on to the papaya now, because <laughs> I'm starting to get full. So this papaya. I don't know if you guys have ever tried this. But I like to put passion fruit on the inside of my papaya. Almost looks like the seeds are still in there, but that's actually passion fruit and it's delicious. It's like a real game changer. You guys have to try it. Mm. <laughs> it's so good, you guys. You guys have got to try putting passion fruit in your papaya if you've never done it. It's so good. Mm-mm. delicious celebration meal. <laughs> mm. Mm. The best. The best celebration meal. I don't know if I can finish that. Oh my gosh, I'm so full. That was so good. What a perfect celebration meal. I ate a whole cute mango, a half of a papaya, and some of this watermelon. And I shared it with my girls, right? That was so good. And thank you guys so much for watching and celebrating with me. This has been an amazing three years and I cannot wait for so many more years of being vegan. I love this lifestyle. It totally resonates with me. And you know, just remember, bottom line, vegan means love. It means that you're spreading love and peace to all beings, being kind to every kind. 
and always try and spread as much love as you can because when you do you're giving off that aura and all the people that you interact with even if they're vegan or not vegan all the non-vegans you know you're planting those seeds in them and if they ever have any questions one day you know they'll know to come to you because they'll know that you're kind and that you weren't judgmental back then and they'll know that they can come to you and ask you questions without judgment so just remember that and so thank you guys for watching this video i hope that you guys have the most wonderful day blessings <laughs>